Good morning, Miss Ella. Hello. Today we are coming to interview you. We are the students from the St. Joseph's Anglo Chinese School. I'm Brian Chen. And I'm Dominic. And Hello. thank you for taking your time to interview us in this nice restaurant. So I'm now starting to interview you. Can you, can you please tell us about your childhood? My childhood, I was born in Tahiti. Yeah. And I came back to Hong Kong when I was around five years old. And uh, I have an elder brother and a younger sister, but I spent most of my childhood just with my brother because he's only one year older than my younger sister. She's like eight years younger. So by the time when she knows how to, you know, interact with people, then I was already in England studying. So uh, my childhood was quite fun, spending time with my brother. Yeah, so um, do you remember any things from Tahiti or have you ever been back to Tahiti? I was going to save Tahiti for my honeymoon but then because I had to do a, a magazine cover shoot for like a traveling magazine but I, I went back there like a few years ago and uh, and that's it but then even though I left there when I was really young but I still n remember quite a lot of things from there because I have many relatives who are still living in Tahiti and they, they'll come to Hong Kong and visit us, visit me and my family and then they'll tell us all the stories so it's kind of like I'm still quite familiar with that place even though I haven't really lived there. Yeah, that's cool. So you have lived in many places, Hong Kong, Tahiti and England. So which of these places do you like the most? I love Hong Kong the best, to be honest. Uh, this is my hometown and because I really like the language Cantonese. I, it's my favorite language. That's why I really like Hong Kong. That's yeah. one of the reasons why. Yeah, we like it too. So, uh, yes. <laughs> um, I know you study in England. Um, so, do you enjoy your life, your high school life in England? Um, when I was there, because I was by myself and I yeah. lived in my guardians, like one of their apartments. So I, I, I was pretty much alone by that time. I didn't quite enjoy it, but then I did have some really good classmates, so it was all right. But okay. Then, yeah, but, but the weather was too cold for me, so yes. Yeah, so <laughs> would you um, have any advice for some, because um, going to study abroad is like a new trend in Hong Kong. So would you... Is this still a trend? I yeah. thought going to China is the new trend. No. <laughs> still, um, going to England is to it? study, yeah. Oh. So do you have any advice for the teenagers now t if they go to study abroad? I think it would be better that their the parents are sure that they're, they're ready for, you know, being by themselves because uh, Obviously, I was not ready, but I was the one who made the decision. I found the school and I sent a letter to the school and I asked them to send my mom some information and all my mom did was just signing, signing the papers. So I decided to go, but then after going there, I was finding myself pretty much very lonely. So just, you have to make sure that you're ready for, for it. Okay. So um, what was your favorite subject at school? Music. Okay. Was my favorite subject. We can guess it. <laughs> so Ella, when you were a form for student, what was your hobby? Um, playing the piano. Mm -hmm. So it's just related to music. It was related, yeah, related to music. Besides, I was in England. There was not much to do really <laughs> because I didn't have much friends. So I was, you know stuck with my guardian. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true. Mm. So yes, playing the piano at home. Okay. So when did you decide to become an actress or an artist? Mm. Well, I don't recall that I, because I, I always ask my mom, did you see like the potential in me when I was young and she was like no not at all because I used to be really 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 shy and 
I think it was probably when I was around 21 years old, around that time, before I signed with my company. I just, I just suddenly thought that maybe I should give myself another chance to try something new. Then I thought, okay, I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Then uh, there are many famous people overseas, right? So who inspires you to become an actress when you were a teenager? Um, maybe Julia Roberts. I used to love watching her movies and like thinking that it would be cool if I I could be like her. So maybe Julia Roberts. Okay then. Do you believe in God? God. Yeah. Whoa. That's a very serious question here. I think I believe in myself oh. the most. Uh, yes, I. I, I, I yeah, God. Yes, yeah, sometimes I'll talk to him. Sometimes I'll say Jesus. But I, but I, I don't really have any beliefs apart from believing in myself. I, I do have faith in people. So you choose your own path and not being decided by someone. And you want to be free? Definitely, oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so which one of your work that you are most proud of? Proud of? Um, it's hard to just name one thing that I did that I'm proud of, but then maybe releasing, each time when I release an album I'm very proud of myself as a singer. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you have been an artist for, an, for a while, so um, what is the best thing about your job? My best thing about my job is, is that I really love what I'm doing. I think it's really different from like people who are working in the office because yeah. you're just getting paid to do something that you're not, you might not be enjoying, right? But then everything I do, like including like this interview, I'm really enjoying it, and I get paid for more by what I'm doing. So I think I'm uh, the best part is because I love what I'm doing. Yeah. So what is the worst part? of your job? The worst part is maybe sometimes I don't really get much privacy and then and then sometimes you know the paparazzi they can get pretty crazy and then they take pictures of my parents, picture, take pictures of my family and that's the part that I really can't stand because those are the people that I really love. I don't want them to be affected by what I do. So sometimes my mom is like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going there with you for dinner because uh, the paparazzi might be around and they take, picture, take pictures of me and I'm not ready, I don't want it. I don't want people to see my face in the magazine. I think that's the worst part of my job is that, is that I don't really get to have my pri privacy. Yeah, a public icon usually chased by um, paparazzi. So um, I think you got some stress from them, some pressure. So how do you deal with them? How do I deal with my stress? Yeah, f maybe like from your work, from the paparazzi. I have to admit that I'm a person who doesn't really get a lot of stress. I do get I get tense. I do get like irritated, like 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 um, but then because for me I think no matter how you deal with your life it still goes on right so I, I'll just tell myself that it's okay everything's gonna be fine and I love to tell myself that I can do it it's okay I can get through it so so then I don't really get stuck in those moments I know how some people they always they're always like oh I really can't handle this thing that I'm doing and then or maybe I have some like uh, for example like a interview tomorrow and I'm getting really nervous and then I'm very stressed. I don't really get those because I tell myself that no matter what it'll come and then it's more like how I choose to deal with it. So I don't, it's really not a problem for me. Maybe that's why I am still in the industry because I'm not crazy yet. Yeah, <laughs> Usually people get crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and you stay very positive. So, so the mainly stress are they most stress from the paparazzi goes to your family or your relatives. 
of when, friends? When they do that to my family, I do get, I do get quite stressed. Okay. So um, I remember you from The Voice. You you sang with another contestant, a uh, contestant on The Voice two years ago, and you received such positive um, feedback and reaction. So did you expect that? I did not. I was just I was quite enjoying the. Sh I was enjoying singing because I've always loved singing. Right? I've always loved singing and. I didn't expect anything to happen before, like like before the show. But then after doing it, I got some really good feedbacks. I I was I was really happy. Yeah, yeah. I really I really like your song with another contestant, Endless Love, right? Yes, that was Endless Love. Yeah. So Ella, if you have to become an artist, what will you do now? mean the type of job? Job? Yeah. Maybe a makeup artist or a kindergarten teacher or a mother. <laughs> so you have patience and love and care for the children? Definitely. I love kids and patience. Mm. Yes. yes <laughs> so um, have you ever regretted to become an artist? No, I haven't. I think it's the best thing ever happened to me. Oh. Really, I'm I'm a very lucky person. I think because I get to, you know, make a living with what I love doing. You you can trap me into a house. I'll be singing too, right? It doesn't <laughs> have to be my occupation. I'll be doing the same thing. But then, not only I get to do my do the stuff that I like, and I'm you know making a living out of it. I think it's amazing. So, um, what is your typical day life? Um, become a famous person. Thank you. Um, I my daily routine. Yeah. I love to wake up really early in the morning so that I can have some time to exercise because I believe I really believe in exercising makes you really healthy and you know it's better for your body because because you know some girls they try to not eat to get skinny but I don't believe in that I think the only answer to get healthy and skinny it's not, not necessarily skinny but then to get healthy and you know lose weight is to do exercise so I try to wake up a bit early early like in the morning so then I can exercise and then usually I have to work almost every day thank thanks thanks to my manager and then then I'll start getting ready. Usually I'll just go to the salon, get my hair done, my makeup done, and then I'll start working. Like today, I'm doing this interview with you guys. Thank you. So uh, you are more than a day person, than a night person? Definitely, yes. Okay. So did your parents support you to become an, an entertain, entertaining business industry? Did they support you to become an actress? They did. Okay. Because they... They give me a lot of freedom just to do whatever I want to do in life. But then me and my parents were like really, 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 really good friends. Yes. Um, what do you hope future holds for you personally and professionally? I hope that I can have, in, in my career, I hope that I can have the opportunity to have a big concert for myself. Big, big concert and then personally yeah uh, it would be nice to have my own family but I won't be ready in a very short time I think I still enjoy living with my family a lot yeah. so if, you know if I get married then I can live with them it's weird to you know ask my husband to move in with them it's just I'm just saying, yes. So I hope your dream for your profession, your professional dream can come true. So maybe you can give us some good deals for your concert. Of course. Yeah. Yes. So um, we are from for student right now. Um, and we are hoping that you will give up some advice uh, on dating in the future. Dating? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we hope wow. Care to tell us some? Dating. Uh, But then I'll be telling you from a girl's perspective, right? 
Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I do. I I think when you try to chase a girl, you should be. You should always try to make the move first, because I believe that's what girls like, right? <laughs> If you're too shy or you, 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 you just try to wait for the girl to make the move, then it never work. That's what I think. Okay then. So, um, what characteristic do you value your boyfriend? Well, uh, sense of humor. Sense of humor. And uh, like what I want a guy to. Be, okay. Uh, he has to have sense of humor and then a kind heart and loves animals and uh, like my parents. They have to love me and my parents too. My family. Forgive me if I cry. So, are you in a relationship now? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, I um, am. So, when's the best time? Do you think is? Oh, so when do you think is the best time for you to get married, oh, to have your me, own family? If I am not working as a singer, then maybe I'm already married. But then, because doing what I'm doing now, I need a lot of personal space, and sometimes I get to I have to practice at home, and then you know play the guitar and piano, and then it's really hard for me to to. Uh, Just let me say this: I'm not ready to move in with my boyfriend yet, and I'm really enjoying living with my parents, my family. So then maybe I won't be getting married in a very short time. So does he support you for your career? He does. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's He's great. He's a very good man. <laughs> I like. <laughs> so um, I think it's almost the end. So uh, we once again want to appreciate you for having us. Us to interview you, and we we had a great time and fun conversation. Me too. Yeah. I'm still having a good time with you guys. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Goodbye.